Hello guys, my name is JC, otherwise known as the Avian Gamer, and today I'd like to welcome you guys back to another Minecraft video where today we're actually going to be working on building uh, the kind of item store to part of the iron farm. Um, I know that I don't know if this episode uh, is going to get published. There's a lot of edits I'm going to have to do to it. Um, that episode, uh, I made that plane, and I did make that though, and I like how it looks. It's got it's got a nice kind of look to it. Let me get over here real quick. Uh, but basically, we'll just kind of get a quick little view of that. But anyway, I did want to kind of make the item sorter to the. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, let me see, figure out what's going on with that. Uh, but basically, uh, we kind of want to make this item sorter for the gold farm. And I'm actually going to get over there. Uh, let me do a stop down here though and grab some more ender pearls because we're running a little bit low on those. Um, so I'm going to grab those as well. But I uh, kind of want to make this item sorter. And of course, let me start out by saying though that um, this all is done in survival. Um, no creative, none of that stuff. Um, I've actually played Minecraft for about almost six years now, um, and I just want to say that it's kind of not fun to do anything when it's not legit. You don't you don't have to take my word for it, but um, it's kind of the only reason I play worlds like this anymore. Um, so we're gonna grab a stack of Ender pearls. And we're also gonna grab what we're gonna need, and then we're gonna add some people to the Wall of Fame or the uh, Hall of Fame, whatever you wanna call it. I think it's is gonna be called the Hall of Fame. I did pull up the comments over here right now, so that's why if you guys are wondering, uh, I gotta pull up the comments and stuff. Um, but basically, uh, we got some speed shark and some stuff that we got to add to the Hall of Fame. But we're going to grab the resource we're going to need for this first of all. So we're going to need uh, two uh, comparators. Um, I don't think we'll have those just yet, so I'm going to go grab a whole bunch of resources. As you see, though, we're running a little bit low on redstone, so I might as well take the whole stack. Uh, we are running low on redstone. I'm going to have to grab some from some uh, people's seconds. So we're going to need two redstone uh, comparators which I need one more torch for that. Basically, comparators are really um, just used to do the sorting system because what we have, we want to set this up is we want it so that basically when, you know, uh, things like, I don't know, um, I'm trying to think of the best word to say, how to say this. So basically when stuff that we don't want, uh, which is not gold nuggets and not uh, gold ingots, uh, we don't want it. So if neither one of those show up, uh, then it gets shoved out and put in the lava. So basically how we're going to have that is we're going to get uh, some... Uh, where did I put this over here perhaps? Nope. Am I out of nether quartz? Really? I cannot believe that. Am I really out of nether quartz? Um, okay, that was not expected. Uh, but anyway, I basically will uh, go grab those in a second. But I do think we do need still need two repeaters. So let me grab some stone out of here. Uh, I do need to get a new sorting um, or a new system as well because I want to make it so it's an item sorter as well. Uh, but let's craft two of those. Let's craft some more torches as well. So um, let's just craft the rest of these in the torches, and that should give us enough to get six. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna need is some stone. Uh, so let's grab some stone, let's grab the rest of that, and let's craft some hoppers up as well. So I think we're gonna need uh, four just for the uh, system itself. So that, and that should give us enough for just the uh, the, the chest to have anything else. Um, but I do want to set up so it goes into a dropper. So let's grab some cobblestone. Uh, cobblestone should be in here. And we basically want to make it so it's a dropper that the redstone falls into. Um, so yeah, let me grab that. And I don't know why I made a freaking furnace. You know what? Today we're making furnaces, guys. We're going to cook up the stuff that we don't need uh, instead of just you know going ahead and using it. We're just going to cook it up. Okay, so let's go make one dropper. Cause that's what we're going to need. I don't know what I was crafting there, honestly. I apologize. You know, you're just watching me like crafting. Uh, Crap, you know, furnaces so we can cook up stuff. Let me put this in here. As I said, I really need to set up so it's just a uh, item sorter. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, whoa. Okay, so basically now that we've done that, uh, I'm gonna throw the just a stack of this in here. We are gonna need. Now that I think about it. We are gonna need one more, um, two more repeaters. So might as well go ahead and just craft those up. I'm just trying to make sure I have everything before we get over there because once we get over there, we're gonna have to run back. Otherwise. And running back is not too fun, as you guys can take a guess, because um, it's kind of a bit away. I didn't want to build it too close to town. Probably should have made it underground, but uh, I kind of want a lot of space to expand and stuff and do that. So now that we got the four Peters, some redstone, uh, we just need to go to another real quick and go and find some uh, other quartz and stuff. So that's what we're going to do. Is going there. This is my fortune. That's the soap test. Good fortune. So there's the fortune big X. Let's go to the nether real quick and go ahead. Um, real quick, let's start off by doing the Hall of Fame thing because we do have to do this. Um, I do have some signs. So yeah, let's go give the Hall of Fame. Um, so first off, we got someone that kind of really doesn't need to go on here in the first person uh, that we can actually say is Mr. Speed Spark. He's the he comment. I can read the comment for you. He says, awesome video. He says, love, love the content. Keep up the good work. And uh, P.S. He says, uh, thanks for being a good friend. Uh, so let me go put his name down there. So Speed 
Uh, Space Spark is the first person on our list in the Hall of Fame, so we've got to put that down there. It's the very first one. If you guys watched this episode, then you know, definitely uh, it's something to watch. And those are little banners. We should put these in the History Museum, though. But let's get up here now. Let's go to the Nether. Let's go grab ourselves some uh, Nether Quartz. Um, so, yeah, let's go head up there. And, um, yeah, so wherever we can find this. Um, and now, of course, let me say how you get in the subscriber garden. You comment something really nice. I mean, not something just like nice video. I don't know I'm going here anymore. This is the only way out of this place now. Um, not something like nice video, but you actually have to comment something like, you know, put some thought into it. You know, write an essay. If you write an essay, you'll be in here no problem, man. I promise you that. Um, okay, is that another? Yes, that is another course. Let's go. We're all the way. We're just running in the Nether, guys. Welcome, welcome to the best video ever. We're just gonna go in the Nether for like the first majority of this video. Um, if you guys did. Uh, Enjoy this mission. Give us a thumbs up, and um, yeah, that's all we're doing. Okay, uh, is there any other course anywhere? I mean, as you guys can tell, this is not from 1.10. This world is not anywhere close to 1.10. I think it was actually a 1.8 world, so that's why we don't have any uh, nearby uh, lava or magma blocks. That's what we're looking for. Um, okay, let's just. I see this one over here. Um, we're getting really far away. Hopefully, I can remember my way back. Otherwise, we're gonna have an episode of um, Avian tries to find his way home. But I do see that over there, so we're good. Here's some dog piggies. Let's get over here. Dime this up. That should be more than enough that we'll need um, for what we're doing. Um, we could even repair the pig a little bit as well. Okay, there we go. Um, that should be a lot. Uh, I'm not going to do the mistake of crafting those up this time. Uh, let me see if I can actually fly over there. We're going to fly over there, guys. Welcome to flying uh, class with Avian. Um, if I do, if I can't make it, then I probably do need to end up. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make it no problem. I was just about to say though, I might need to put on my chest plate because my chest plate and all this stuff can take um, armor or it can take swimming in lava for a good 30 seconds before I start losing any hunger or start dying. And I do need something. Let me get something up real quick. Um, but let me get back into here um, and just run through here real quick and then we'll get to the, um, the gold farm. So let's run over there now. <clears throat> so basically, the gold farm, we built it off in the distance to kind of make sure that you know we wouldn't have any issues with it kind of making things look nasty because you know we kind of we're, we're eventually gonna have to make like a coliseum around it or something when we start building the town out that way um, so you know so we're trying to avoid you know mess building it somewhere close so that way we won't have to worry about it until a little bit later so let me get over to the lighthouse real quick as you can see we have another plane over here and there's, hey, look, there's a better look from the plane right there guys uh, you guys should definitely check out that episode that was kind of fun to make let's see if I can land this e-pearl I think that's a good shot. Let's see how high. Oh yeah, look at that land. Perfect, guys. Perfect. And that's the uh, light for that. But you can kind of see the distance over there. Um, so yeah, let's just fly over there real quick. Uh, this was a huge amount of underpearls. I wonder if I can fly through the underpearls. Under let's try this. Oh, look at that. You can. Look at that. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, okay, let's land here. Um, so basically, now we're going to make the collection unit. Uh, so how we set up the collection unit is we have right now um, I know it's made out of dirt, and it's just for temporary uses, because, you know, we're, we're not really done with everything just yet. Down here is the portal that goes down here, so let's just show this down here. As you can see, it's really dark, which is why I probably should have some torches, but I don't. Actually, let me go ahead and just climb up here real quick, um, and just to break this one uh, dirt right here so we can clearly see the sky, because, you know, we kind of do need to see the sky in order to get some light. There you go, look at all that light. That's how you get light, guys, without torches. Welcome to tutorial number one. Um, of course, you guys, I know you guys can take this moment right now to go drop a sub. It's appreciated. It's actually appreciated a whole bunch. And as you can see, uh, whenever the zombie pigments do fall down here, they they instantly die. Um, so that's what we're going to go for. Um, basically, as you can see, we can kind of craft these into gold um, ingots now. And then once we craft them into gold ingots, we can kind of craft them into gold blocks. And that's all the gold that I've gotten from this so far. So as you guys are wondering, you're probably like, oh, so um, now that we have uh, not two hoppers, I thought we had hoppers already. Oh boy, I don't think we might, we might not have enough, eh, okay, I was about to say, oh, I think we might not have enough, but we should, it's going to be a really tight um, system, I shouldn't say that much, um, okay, so, we don't need an extra ingot, actually, we could put this in the chest, so I'm going to go chop, chuck that and put that in the chest real quick, um, but basically, now that we got this, and it's turning nighttime, oh boy, um, but basically, how it's going to work is, this is going to go this direction, I'm going to have a um, item sorter, so it goes into two item sorters, one for the gold uh, ingots and one for the gold nuggets, and then if it's not one of those, we uh, have it set up so it puts it in the lava or spits it out. So how we're going to do that is it's going to be, uh, let's place it this way, let's kind of build out this, or mine out a little bit. I'm going to use my soap touch just for um, purposes right now. Um, but yeah, let's mine the spot out, 
apologize, I didn't bring too, torch too much torches, I didn't think we'd need that. I usually have something like that on me, but it's just like today we didn't feel like bringing torches of any sort. And so I gotta keep in mind that this is the block that they're gonna fall in whenever they fall down. Hopefully we don't get too many of these down here, falling down here, something like that. Um, so I'm, actually, I think there should be some torches up here now. I'm gonna go to sleep up here, because there is a bed. Um, and I'm still wearing Elytra, that's why. I was like, why am I falling? I'll go down here. Okay, let's see if I throw that up there. Um, let's go climb up here now. And uh, go to bed in Mr. Seth. Bed. Actually, this guy hasn't been on the... Um, or this used to be a server until the server got shut down recently because there was an issue with the company, but he uh, he uh, built this little house right here, and uh, he hasn't been on uh, for a very long time, so he said, we'll just build a thing in front of it. Uh, okay, so I need to grab some torches, and he does have a lava bucket, which is required for the build that we're doing today. I honestly don't know why I have some random blocks in there. So we have that lava bucket, let's go craft. We have nine torches. That will not be enough for f to fully get everything we need, but we should have enough with that just to kind of light up down there, so we don't have to worry about constantly getting that. Okay, so let's see, do we have any piggies down there? Um, yeah, I definitely hear a piggy right there. I think we got some piggies already. Let's spawn through here. Um, let's kind uh, of drop down there now. Okay, here we go. No, they're not going to have some piggies falling down here in a second. Uh, as you can see, we already had one kind of fell down here. And there's the second one. Um, there's another one. As you can see, we're starting to get some gold ingots already, so I probably should go ahead and just check this gold in here for right now until we can you know, fully get this system set up. So now, basically, we're just going to build it. Um, I do have some torches, and I do have all the things we need. Okay, so let's use cobblestone just easily kind of figure out exactly what differentiate the walls. I'm going to mine this out right here. We put this torch down. Let's mine this wall out right here a little bit so we can have some room to breathe. Um, and then let's basically build this over here. So how we're going to do this is hopper goes into this block. We'll use some dirt for right now. We'll use a hopper going into this block like that, and break that, and so that now we have it going into this hopper, this hopper should face, uh, I believe, either, no, this, actually, we might not have enough hoppers for this, I didn't, I didn't expect, um, there might be some more iron up here, but I will go after there once we get at least the first hopper done, so that way I can collect the gold, um, but basically, how it works is, this hopper goes this way, and there is a hopper underneath it, it faces outwards, um, I'm just trying to make sure I do it right, um, and then basically there is a, actually it probably should be facing the other way, now that I think about it, because we kind of want to have all the chests that way when you come down the ladder. So then it goes faces that way, uh, and then we'll have another one going down one, and then we have a, did that get collected somewhere? No, okay, I was like, like what's going on? Okay, let's break this a little bit so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. This one goes into the chest, we can place down a chest here, uh, there's that. So now it places into the chest. Let's go mine down. I don't know what I was doing with an axe. Let's place down the first piece of cobblestone. So there we go. There's a piece of cobblestone. Let's put the redstone torch like that. Um, and then now we have to come down uh, some blocks over here. Let's place a repeater going this way. So wherever my repeaters, put my repeaters at. Um, so the repeater goes that way. Uh, then we have to build uh, mine this out as well. So let's mine this out real quick. Um, so basically. And now that we have that, we got to build a block up here. And then there should be some redstone that we get. Um, actually, hold up. This is... I'm trying to make sure... Oh, so we did We did need to move this back one. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Now, now it's fixed. Uh, let's put the repeater going like that. And redstone like that. Let's grab our stack of redstone. And I don't know why I grabbed that. Must have not clicked it far enough. And there we go. There's that. Uh, actually, I do need to put the... Comparator right here. Did I not craft? Oh, of course I didn't craft any new comparators. That's why I had so many torches in my inventory. Uh, okay, let's craft these comparators up real quick. Let's craft two of these. Uh, these are pretty easy to craft. They're just um, they do require those um, these uh, um, another quartz. That's what word I was looking for. I was like, what am I missing? Let's let that fall down there for right now. Um, okay, so there we go. Whoa, that's that's a. I don't know what's going on. This is some slight lag going on. Uh, I don't know. I don't see what just happened, but let's hopefully. Hopefully the lag subsides. I guess I just put that two pieces of redstone, guys. And like I'm freaking recording now, this is what happens. The lag has a complete meltdown. Okay, let's go check the stuff in here that we don't need. Because we want the rotten flesh and the swords and all that stuff that we get to be sorted out. So that's what we're trying to get right now. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take a quick pause and figure out what's going on with this lag. So um, I'll be right back and guys on a couple. Okay, so welcome back guys. 
Um, apparently, it was just this really weird uh, thing. I had to restart the game. Hopefully, I'll fix it. Sorry about that lag, though. I do apologize. Um, so, we do have some mob stuff falling down here. There shouldn't be anything in this chest right now. And as you can see, we kind of do need to make sure there's how many items. I believe that's 18 or something. So, we need to just have one gold nugget in there. Let's put one gold nugget and then let's put the 18 items in there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I think it's 16, or so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, 4, and then plus 13, so that should be 18. I think when you put one more in, it should be 19, so let's check. Okay, so I think it's more than that. Okay, so let's go put some dirt down there. 17. I think it's 24, actually, so let's put three more in. There you go, as you can see, so um, we do have to put trade this out for one, okay, so break, take one out, trade that in for an ingot, um, and then let's kind of put some more blocks in there, so there you go. So now we know that dirt isn't going to be in there, we can kind of make sure that it ensures that it goes in there. So there you go, we have gold nuggets now that will feed through here, so whenever we go uh, empty the inventory out, we'll get the, get the gold nuggets. Then now the gold nuggets will be sorted exactly where we need them, and I did get some more hoppers as well. So I'm just going to throw some more junk in here right now. Is this all this rotten flesh and stuff and all these swords are going to get sorted out now so they don't show up in this uh, in the sorter system? Because that's what we don't We don't want the stuff showing up in the sorter system right now. And you guys are like, oh, why not? Well, just kind of, <clears throat> we kind of want to make sure that we don't have any issues with, like, having a full chest of rotten flesh. Because, I mean, rotten flesh is good for if you're trying to trade for villagers. So, you know, if you want to trade, hey, I want to give this, um, you know, trade rotten flesh for emeralds. I mean, hey, that's a good idea. Um, but <clears throat> otherwise, it's not really worth it. And I'm going to combine the uh, two chests so we can have a big chest down there. And I really don't care for the gold nuggets themselves and the um, gold ingots themselves because they're all really the same thing to me. They're stuff that I want. Um, so that way I just kind of come down here and grab it. Um, but for other people, for example, they might want it so that, you know, I say they have it so that the gold nuggets are separated somewhere else, and I mean, that's fully fine and all that, but for right now, for our purposes, we just kind of want to keep things simple. So there we go, there's that one, let's break this, and now that now what's going to happen is when uh, said uh, gold nuggets, uh, or gold themselves, it actually, actual gold uh, ingots, let's get one gold ingot, let's figure out how many blocks of um, stuff we need here, I think it's to figure out exactly how many until we get this fully cooperational. So, so there we go. So let's break, take one out. Let's put three in here. Let's take the gold ingot and put the gold ingot there. And there we go. That now that will fully work. Um, so there now. Now when the gold ingot passes through the system, I'll put some gold ingots in here. Gold ingots will get filtered into this system. We put gold nuggets in the system. Gold nuggets will get filtered through. So see the gold, both those get added in here, and that's both the things we want instead of just normal things that get added into exactly what we want. Okay, so next, now we've gotten that, I'm going to actually have to run back up to poor Mr. Seth's house and steal some more hoppers. But now we got to have the fun part where we actually have the lava bucket that puts everything else. So for example, that rotten flesh that we really don't have a care for um, is going to get burned in lava. Uh, and I, I could try saving it all, but the amount of rotten flesh compared to how many portals and stuff we're going to get here, there's just going to be a lot of portals, and my world is kind of having a bit, a bit of an issue loading. Uh, okay, so I had, uh, I was going to grab hoppers back here. So I'm just going to kind of take rid of the hoppers. As you guys can assume, I could kind of be nice and craft some, but I'll probably return them. So don't worry, guys. I'm going to make sure that I return these back um, when I have time. But I'm just going to try to do this on video. That way we don't have to um, constantly be back there, I guess. Okay, so um, I'm going to, first of all, bump up the room distance because that's getting a, I don't know why. My world like glitched or something and sent me back to a tiny render distance. Okay, so we can't sleep at night, guys. You know that's not cool. But basically, it's just whenever it's time, night time. Okay, I see stars out. I visibly see stars. You know I should be able to sleep now. Okay, there we go. Um, but we'll hop back down there and then we'll do the fun part of burning the stuff in the lava, which I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what that looks like. Cause you know we're just gonna burn some things in the lava. That's just that's just, just something you want to do. Cause lava's kind of taking your stuff so many times already. Whoa. Oh my gosh, what, my computer does, does, does not want to stream or record today. Um, but you, as you can see, the stuff is filtering through the system down there. Let's get into Pearl. That way, you know, when you when you go down there, 
You can just grab whatever you want. Let's top this down there again. So there's that. Let's check what we got down here. As you can see, we have some more ingots. And then the, then the gold nuggets. Why did the gold nuggets get put down there? Oh, they might have actually done this. They might have actually hopped out or have fallen down somewhere they weren't supposed to. So well, for our purposes, we don't need this chest any here anymore. We're just going to kind of break this chest so we can kind of build. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of penguins are kind of going at it right now. Okay, let's just put this all the stuff down there. Um, grab that as well and put that in there. Uh, and let's make a little spot here because I want to kind of make sure that these zombies don't, we don't have what just happened there and the gold ingots don't get put through the system because they kind of need to reach all the hoppers and stuff before they can go anywhere. Okay, now we get to put our uh, dispenser going straight down. Let's hop down, let's put our dispenser, our dropper. Use droppers because we're, we're cheap around here, guys. And there we go. Let's go do that. And then we just have this hopper facing in here. And this is just the hopper that's going to control uh, the lava. So, for example, you know, we'll have the lava right here, say for say. So there's the lava. And so whatever gets put in here should just be rotten flesh and anything that's otherwise. Um, that will get put in there, and then we'll have a simple redstone timer just going through here, um, back here. So that's basically, let's do that. Uh, so let's get the redstone timer like that, and that will just burn the stuff that we don't want. So that ensures that, per se, that we get exactly what we want in our chest, and that way we fill up our chest with exactly what we want, not what we don't. And I'll probably end up making this really slow. So let me make sure that I, I do that so that way we don't end up... There you go. That will make sure that all the stuff is burned that's supposed to and that's not burned doesn't. Okay, so now that we've gotten this really chaotic looking system, we actually got to make things look good around here. So let's actually mine out back here now and build the good looking part of this place so that way you know you get what you want. So we don't want to make things look ugly around here. We want this gold farm to look inviting when it's done. Now as you can see, the top looks ugly, down here looks ugly. We can at least start by making this place down here look a little bit better. But now that we have this gold farm, I'm going to turn off the um, blocks all the way down really low, just for right now, um, so you guys don't have to hear the loud clicking noise at the moment. But basically this is going to be this part right here, and when you AFK up at the top, where the mobs spawn, um, you can send the stuff to the system. I'm going to, for the purpose of this video as well, I'm going to put blocks up here so we don't get things that aren't supposed to be added in here. I'm um, putting the water. Um, yeah, that's basically hopefully going to fix the system. We've got two. I probably need to switch these blocks out with something that you'll never have in there. Because right now the dirt might get mixed in there when we're building stuff. You can always put these in nether quartz because there should never, ever be some nether quartz in there. So how many nether quartz is there? 21 nether quartz. So let's add uh, 21. So let's we'll add 21 nether quartz into here real quick. And just kind of make sure that nothing, for example, we don't get anything that's not supposed to be in here. Because um, that's what I'm really afraid of, is like that dirt uh, gets added into the uh, sort of system and breaks the s s sort of si Okay, I don't know how to say it. System! There we go. My, my, my grammar isn't on point, guys. Sorry, apologies. There you go. Have a look at that. There's the system. It should still work. And you can go down there and put that in there. Um, and then we'll start getting some gold blocks as well. Grab lots of gold apples and... That should make sure that anything we don't want gets put away in there. So now I'm going to start putting these crafting or these extra chests down here. That way we can kind of put stuff, put junk that we don't need in there. Um, so let's break this. Go ahead and just throw this all in there. Um, go ahead and of course add. Probably should grab these gold blocks. But the best part is now that we're going to have this all this gold. It's going to be real nice. Um, so let's put this next chest down there. Actually, probably should put it on top. I'm just saying. Put the next chest on top. Um, and now we've got this big kind of system right here, this big room. Let's kind of go through here and let's just go add this second level. And look, now you got a good wall, so now you don't even know it's behind the wall. And then you can kind of come down here and see what's going on with this chest as well. So now, just the stuff you want gets put in this chest and nothing else. So then when we come down here, there'll just be gold um, ingots and gold. Uh, so that's all we need to do. Um, let me just build this room out some more. So I don't have personally have too much actually stuff to um, build with, but you know, we're going to make do. Anyway, so we're going to kind of make things look really nice without um, too much work. So let's kind of build down here. I'm going to make some more ladders, though. Let me kind of go through here and kind of make a floor real quick. Uh, just using these uh, spruce half slabs. As I said, we're going to kind of make something uh, with not too much resources. So for example, we got this big store system. We're just going to kind of make things look good um, without having a whole bunch of resources with us. Okay, so now we've done that, we're going to grab some uh, slabs. And that's said, you know, we're going to do this 
being broke. It's how you do things broke, guys. Uh, now we have all these gold swords. And too bad you can't turn these into gold, because then things would work out a lot better. Not for the purpose of as well. Uh, I probably should make it so that you can easily... Um, first of all, let's get a uh, some some ladders so we can kind of climb up here all the way. Uh, so there it is, ladders. Can't break this block. Um, but for purposes, because we kind of do need to have access to the hopper right here so we can drop this rotten flesh. So that rotten flesh will feed to the system. Uh, we'll probably add it so that this way, but you can just simply click there if you know what you're doing. Um, so let's go build down here as well. Put the half slot like that. Place the block down like that. And do that. And then all you have to do now is just add these ladders all the way down. Or if I put them on, I was doing with iron bars, but ladders all the way down. And now that we got this big room up here, let's go up above. Let's add some. Oh, we can do we can do some more roof um, out of the spruce wood. Uh, and for purposes as well, I'm going to put a block here and then do the rest in half slabs. So let's go just go ahead and do the rest in half slabs. And this is making things look a lot better with a lot less resources. Because, you know, we like to save resources around here, and using half slabs happens to be one of the best ways to do it. Um, so there we go. Look at that. Now we got a little room down here. I mean, it's not a huge room. Don't get me wrong. It's not, it's not what we call a massive room. But it definitely gets the job done for right now. And, of course, we can always expand this to get more uh, items included. So, for example, uh, you know, we, we need to add, say, more chests because we're getting so much gold from this. And why is the rotten flesh in here? Oh my gosh, what 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 did, what did I do? Where is rotten flesh in here? Okay, yeah, as you can see, it did break the gold. Apparently, we did not add the gold ingots properly, so we gotta add one gold ingot in here. So let's just switch this out real quick. Let's just silt out so there's one in there. Okay, so now we can grab this rotten flesh and chuck everything else that we don't need. So, for example, let's chuck this rotten flesh in here. It should not filter through. I don't know honestly why it did filter through. Um, so let's go put the rest of this rotten flesh in here as well. You can hear the sizzling noise of it working. You can, there you go. Look at that. It works just fine. Um, so that way the swords and stuff don't get added in there. Let's uh, add that block there. Let's add those slabs back there. Um, so yeah, that, looks, that works out really good now. So now I have this automatic system. Um, I do not feel personally too comfortable leaving this uh, by itself right now because I'm afraid that it will fill up. So we're going to get another chest down here and put a hopper facing into it so just so I can feel a little bit more comfortable leaving it you know running while I'm uh, up there and not come back and have turn out that I've wasted a whole bunch of resources because uh, you know for some reason the, the collection system got full uh, you know, this, it's possible it's quite likely impossible uh, so I'm just gonna kind of break this as well so I can easily get up here and place down the hopper um, so let's go find the, there we go, there's one hopper like that, let's go add those two blocks back, and now we have two large chests of storage room, not just one, um, and so that way when that one gets to about halfway, it'll start overflowing into this one, and that's what we want to make sure that nothing overflows completely. Okay, so there we go, we got that system, and let's kind of go up here and check to make sure it works, how many gold ingots do we have right now? We have four and twelve, so I'm going to craft, um, well, I do have all these blocks of gold, but I'm going to go up here and craft these, uh, or stand up here for a while, and um, we'll just see how much uh, stuff gets produced in that short amount of time. But as you can see, though, we do have to add a whole bunch more nether portals, because this thing is not necessarily what you would call extremely fast uh, currently, but I do want to kind of make sure that we do get it so it's fast, That's, if that makes sense, you know. You know, I, I may not, it makes gold. It, may, it doesn't make any sense, guys. It makes gold, though. I, mean, I do hear some pigment already. Um, I do, I, I did, this thing looks so ugly. I, I'm apologizing for that. It's just, it just annoys me that things like this look so ugly. But it's, it's produced in gold, so I can't complain too much. And did that picky just over there just get out of here? Okay, how in the world did he just get out of here? Basically, I think we just need to make this wall look a lot, a little, a little higher, because they're just kind of like jumping um, up, and we don't, we don't want them getting out. Because if they get out, they're adding less efficiency to the farm. And I'm building out of dirt, guys. You know, this is just what you do. You know, I, everybody says it's for noobs, but you know, we, us pros, we do it too, you know, it's just a normal day, uh, you know, we just build this and stuff, uh, out of dirt, you know, we build our, build our nether portal farms out of dirt, you know what we should do, we should make this gold, we should make, like, when we get enough gold, we should make this place out of gold, like, that's what we should do, we should just take gold, make this whole farm, and as you can see, the, the, the piggies get added up here, uh, pushed into here, 
Um, I do need to kind of make some slight adjustments because I do realize that's not necessarily the best thing. Okay, so what I'm actually might do is I might just break this and place down a uh, piece of and place down another piece of collar right there. I don't care if it's you know ends up breaking the farm. Actually, we set it up so it should just automatically filter through if it's not what we want. Um, how many? So let's take a quick look around here real quick. So say we're a piggy, I'm gonna go down here. Uh, I'm not gonna drop down where the piggies are supposed to be, but you know, as you can see, they'll swim up here and they'll get pushed off in that direction. As you can see, we've got a lot of pigs already, which is kind of good for us. Um, I do need to step away so they kind of get out of here faster. But as you can see, uh, they should go up there. The sort of system, and I'll just push them in there because you know, kind of want to see your goal. Basically, does it fully automatic now? I do need a way out of here in case for some reason I do get stuck down here. But I think that is going to wrap up the video, guys. So that was part two of the gold farm. So if you guys did enjoy this, um, make sure you guys give the video a big thumbs up. And of course, drop a sub if you're new. It's appreciated. I do a lot of survival videos, and I like to also do shout outs and stuff for my very loyal subscribers that I appreciate a whole bunch. But make sure you guys go, you know, drop a sub for that reason as well. So I can thank y'all for watching, guys. And, um, of course, have fun with your buildings, uh, buildings and stuff. And, of course, always stay classy, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.